Hi and welcome to another episode of Redken Brime Master. Today we're making a classic, a smoked bacon bomb. And what you need for it and how to do it, I'm going to show you in this episode. And this is what we need for today. Now obviously you need uh, minced meat. And this is 100% uh, minced beef. Now obviously you can go half and half or you can do pork only. Um, then you need some cheese. Now I've chosen mozzarella and emmentaler. You need a barbecue sauce of your choice. You need a dry rub. And then what I like to use as well is, is an onion and a couple of spring onions. Obviously you need bacon and I'm using sucuk sausage as well. Let's get started with the beef and actually quite simple. All you need to do is you take your favorite rub. You add it to your minced beef or minced pork or minced half and half and you start mixing it. Now obviously you can go as big as you want in terms of uh, serving size or as small as you want. It depends a bit on your barbecue that you have and obviously how many people you need to feed. But this is about 400 grams of minced beef and I think that should serve nicely for us for tonight. Let's get the cutting out of the way. So basically what I like to do is I just, uh, you know, obviously you wash everything and then you just cut it in nice little chunks. Um, you don't have to go too fine on it because obviously it is quite a hearty dish. Now I formed a little patty with the beef, so let's start off with the sucuk. Then we use some of the onions. And the spring onions, give it some color. And then we need cheese. So don't be shy, give it a nice mix. And then we're going to close it up. And now to the centerpiece of all of this, the bacon netting. And I'm sure you've seen it in multiple of my videos, so I'm not going to give a long speech on how to make a bacon net. It's super easy, super quick, and it just looks absolutely awesome, and it really helps keeping the meat together. The bacon netting is done and what I've done is I've put the bacon net on cling film because then it just makes it a lot easier to wrap it around our bacon bomb and really get it pressed nicely into it. And there you go, our bacon bomb is ready to rock and roll. The barbecue sits at about 140 degrees Celsius and we're smoking with applewood chunks indirect. There you go and we're going to leave it in there for about two and a half hours. Two hours are up and wow does that look already amazing. So now we're going to give it a quick glaze And then we are almost ready to eat. Alright guys, two and a half hours later, look at this and we are ready for that center cut. And now I think that looks absolutely awesome and we are going to dig in now. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video about the smoke bacon bomb on the Kamado. Now, um, the barbecue sauce that I used uh, at the end to glaze was a blueberry chipotle that I found in one of our groceries and it was absolutely delicious. So if you do find one of those, 
you know, uh, I recommend that you get one. Now, if you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate a comment and a thumbs up. And please head over to that subscribe button for more great videos to come. And I hope to see you soon again at Redken Brymaster.